Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and if you are new here, please do subscribe. Today's video is gonna be very, very exciting. We're gonna be talking about my brand new project, my brand new brand and my new YouTube channel called Zen Den. So I kind of want to talk to you about why I'm creating a new YouTube channel, a new website, a new brand, um, what I hope to be sharing on there and kind of the process and the behind the scenes of doing this. So the first thing is why. Why am I creating a whole new YouTube channel when I've already spent two years trying to build this one? Basically, I suck at self-care. <laughs> In all honesty, I really, really suck at self-care. Anything where it's like going for a walk, reading, meditating, journaling, um, any kind of mindful practices, anything where it's anything remotely remotely involved with self-care I'm really really rubbish at it and I kind of want to learn more about yoga and meditation on this channel and document my process my learning process and then take anything that I learn and implement it on this new channel called Zen Den so I want this new channel to be a super basically a den of zen which is where the name comes from so just like imagine a den like a hiding place where it's super zen and chill and calming and I want all my videos to be self-care. So it's going to be meditations, yogas, yoga nidra, maybe sleep meditations, walking meditations. I would also love to learn about sound meditation in terms of kind of Tibetan singing bowls, all that good stuff. So it's going to be a very, very Zen place. And I'm going to learn about all these things on my main channel. Now, if we jump back to last year so january to march 2021 i did a yoga teacher training i did 200 hours with warrior flow so i'm now a certified yoga teacher sorry i just got something in my eye i think we're okay so i'm a certified yoga teacher and last year i created 27 yoga classes on my main channel on my this channel that you're watching and they did well and i enjoyed it and it kind of gave me space to practice yoga honestly and mindfulness and to meditate because otherwise I find it really hard to follow other people's yoga classes because maybe it's not quite stretching the muscle that I want to or it's not quite the class that I want to take that day and I, I honestly I spend ages looking through yoga classes trying to find the right one for that day and I find it so much easier to teach myself and to do exactly what I want and move how I want to move and then I can record that and share that with the world so that's kind of um, why I prefer teaching yoga classes is because I can do what I want to do on that day and then also be able to share it. And I feel like when I put the pressure on myself to create a yoga class, like when I was doing it on my main channel last year, I was doing every single Monday, it was gonna be a yoga class. So I put the pressure on myself to record the class, which meant that I put the pressure on myself to do the yoga, which was a good thing and also maybe a bad thing because it meant that I was actually practicing yoga, um, but it was maybe not from a space of zen <laughs> i don't know so anyway so i did 27 classes on my main channel and even though they did well and i got some views it kind of didn't make sense because my youtube my main channel this one that you're watching is very much just about me and my life so maybe one day it's chopping hair one day it's going shopping maybe it's traveling maybe it's a yoga class maybe it's this maybe it's that and it's very kind of maybe distracting for people who just want to go and practice yoga. So I thought it'd be great to have it all in one place where people can go and have, like I said, the Zen Den somewhere very, like, a, I want the slogan to be a safe space to calm your mind and body. So I want it to be somewhere where you can go on the internet and know that you're gonna have a very calming, relaxing experience. There's not gonna be any drama, no panic. It's just gonna be, go over there to this very nice space on the internet that I've created that's gonna be calming and zen. So that's kind of the why. Um, also in terms of another kind of reason, I guess, is that I really want to expand my knowledge. So I'm, like I said, I'm not very good at self-care and meditating is something that I've wanted to do for years, but have never, I just kind of want to understand the science behind it and maybe some of the methods. And I absolutely love sound baths. They get me to sleep pretty much every night. I put one of those on. But I would like to learn more about guided meditation. I'm less about visualization and more just about kind of feeling my body, feeling connected to myself, feeling like my sits bones on the floor, feeling my heart rate, fo focusing on my breathing, all that kind of thing. So I really want to learn about different things basically. And I had a whole list and I don't have it with me, but I want to learn about things like, oh, I have it here. So yoga nidra, meditation, yin yoga, restorative yoga, sound meditation and sound baths and sound healing. I also want to learn about things like Reiki, um, the chakras, affirmations, manifestations, um, trauma-informed yoga, and then things as well like yoga for X. So yoga for pregnancy, yoga for um, mental health, yoga for stress and anxiety and depression. And 
something as well that's kind of spurred me on recently to start doing this is that my dad has been ill. I've talked about this on my channel before. And he had, so he's got a really rare disease where basically he had stroke-like symptoms and seizures. And from that, he's had traumatic brain injury. And as he was going through this, he's, get, he's starting to get better now, but as he was going through this in the mix, in like the thick of it, I started looking at how yoga could help. And I saw some courses and some programs that's like yoga for traumatic brain injury. And I thought, oh my God, how incredible would it be if I could learn different techniques that I could then teach my dad and help him in his recovery. And then I thought, well, rather than doing it just for my dad, I could then create videos for other people who have had traumatic brain injury. And I think a lot of the time, yoga is very much focused on, can you do a headstand? Can you do a handstand? Um, you know, which poses can you get into? How good can you look on Instagram? How many, how can you contort your body in such a weird way? Or actually going to this rehab facility where my dad's at and realizing that yoga would benefit you know people with disabilities people with so many different things going on in their bodies yoga can be used as therapy i don't think i want to do yoga therapy course not anytime soon anyway maybe that's something i do in the future but um yeah it's interesting during my yoga teacher training we learned about yoga for disabilities and yoga for disabled bodies and fat bodies and different you know different people in different different areas of life and how yoga can help everyone and because my life hadn't personally been affected by anybody with a disability, I kind of, I understood it and I understood the importance, but I think when you go through something like that and it's actually your dad who is now, I mean, I think he's always been disabled because he's, he wears hearing aids, so he's, he's um, quite deaf. But now he struggles with some of the mental capacities of things. Um, it's interesting how like, you know, it kind of, it brings it all back to home of like, these are the people that you could actually be helping with yoga. It's not about getting into a headstand or a handstand. It's about healing and about calming your mind and connecting to your body. So that's been another reason why I'm kind of doing this now. I want to learn, learn, learn. And I've always been a bad student. <laughs> I have a dyslexia, so I struggle to read. Um, I struggle to retain information. I struggle to study. I don't know how to study. I've never really been taught how to study properly. So there's lots of things going on, but basically I want to, the reason I want to talk to you in this video is to welcome the brand. And I know I've just blabbered on for about 10 minutes almost. So I'm sorry about that, but I am, I just kind of wanted to give you a background as to why I'm doing this. So I've just got my notebook here. I'm just going to read some things on here. So I'd written, I want to share new techniques. So like I said, I want to learn about maybe breathing techniques or yoga nidra or meditation, learn about that and then try and implement it. Because I, I always believe the best way to learn something is to teach what you learn. So I want to learn about, for example, yoga nidra. Maybe I'll do a 50 hour course or something like that about yoga nidra. I then want to try and teach yoga nidra on my Zenden channel and just further my kind of understanding, my knowledge and share what I learn so that I have a learning space and then a practicing space where people can experience it as well. The next thing I've written is that I want to build a community. So I'd really love if people in the comment section get involved. I've created an Instagram account as well. So I'm gonna be sharing quotes on there and maybe some short kind of practices. Um, I really want to build a community around this and create a group of people who are all into self-care, wellness, slowing down, looking after each other, looking after ourselves and less about the yoga poses and how fancy it looks, more about how it feels in your body, in your mind and your mental health. Mental health is something, again, I know about in terms of first-hand experience, but I don't know about in terms of kind of the science or how to heal or all that kind of good stuff. So I want to learn more about that as well. The next thing is to give me purpose. So I feel like with my main channel, like I said, it can be very here, there and everywhere. And I think this would give me, I'm kind of seeing this as a business, like my YouTube channel, my main channel that you're watching, it's monetized, so it is making money, but I don't see it as a business. I just see it as documenting my life. Whereas Zenden, I kind of see it as a business right from the outset. So I've created merch that I'm wearing right now. I'll talk to you about that in a second. I've got a website, I could see it, you know, I've got my YouTube channel, my Instagram, I could see it maybe one day being retreats, I could see it maybe one day, I could see it maybe one day, sorry, being a studio or maybe products or um, teaching one-on-one, -on -one, teaching in person, like I can see it being so many different forms or maybe education, I don't know, so I can see it being something, um, I don't know, just something that gives me a little bit of purpose in my life at the minute, because at the minute my, my life's everywhere and I think this might settle me and calm me and 
just give me an hour a week, even if it's not that, but however long it is per week, just to focus on myself and try and share that with other people. So I'm on this self-help you know, journey with everybody else. I'm not gonna be like a master who's teaching all these wonderful things. No, like I'm learning and I, I admit that I don't know a lot. I've done a 200 hour yoga teacher training and that's it so far. So I'm gonna be very much there with you, alongside with you learning all these things and hoping to help and teach things that I learn. So that's the kind of point that I've written, written there. And then the other thing is to make yoga and meditation easy to understand and not too spiritual. So I'm, I wouldn't say I'm spiritual, I'm not religious. Um, and I think a lot of the time, yoga and meditation can become very like connected to the higher power and the universe and all these things and God, whatever God is, not necessarily, you know, Christian God or Jewish God or whatever, just God in general. And I don't believe in God. I don't believe in spirituality. I don't believe in all these things, which might, might sound weird from a yoga teacher, but I think a lot of the time yoga and meditation can be very spiritual and very full of Sanskrit words which I know is kind of where the heritage comes from so it's it's a hard one to kind of teach yoga without the Sanskrit because you're then taken away from where it comes from and the it's a hard place to work from but I kind of want to make yoga and meditation accessible to everyone so no matter your age your abilities your religion your background your spirituality or not and kind of just have it as a space where anyone from any background any religion any gender any body any sexuality any whatever can come and feel safe and feel calm and connect to their breath and their body through movement and meditation so that's kind of where I want to go with it I don't want to be some guru with spiritual words and you know I don't think that's me and I think if you want that there are people who teach that I want to teach my version of yoga meditation that's all I can do is my version what I think would resonate and what resonates with me so that's kind of what I've written there and um, so I've said about the future in terms of retreats a studio one-on-one -on -one classes and products and merch which brings me on to my merch so I created my logo, um, I'll pop it on screen so you can actually see it, but I created this jumper which I absolutely love. All of the products that I've chosen are um, eco-friendly and organic cotton and things like that. So I had, <laughs> I made some mock-ups basically. This one worked well, this is a jumper and it's a size large. If you want to go ahead, I'll leave the link down below so you can go ahead and find one and buy one for yourself. So this is a grey jumper with the logo here. I've also created a navy blue jumper sweatshirt sorry if you're american with a different logo on i'm going to pop a picture on screen i printed some t-shirts to try out so this was like a men's style t-shirt but i decided i don't actually like the fit of it and i'm not convinced about that one so that was kind of a tester that i'm not going to go ahead with but what i am going to go ahead with was this women's style t-shirt so if you are um a man or not or somebody else who would prefer that kind of men's oversized fit t-shirt let me know I can add it to the shop but um the one that I would actually wear so the one that I wanted to start off with is this women's style cut t-shirt so it's kind of in at the waist a little bit it's got shorter sleeves and it's got a round neck now I did try this logo here but as you can see the white stitch doesn't show up at all there's a white stitch going around the circle and then also here. So what I've done is I've changed the design slightly and I've ordered some new products. So they will be coming in about a week or two. So I might show you those on a future video, but basically if you want to go ahead and shop my merchandise, I'll leave the link down below where my main colors are white and navy. So I've got white t-shirts and navy t-shirts and I've got gray jumpers and navy jumpers. I didn't want to do a white sweatshirt just because I think white can get dirty really easily. And I love a gray. I just think it's just something you can wear all the time. So this is the gray version and I've got a logo. So I'm gonna pop some pictures on screen. I've got a logo that I'm doing and I've also got kind of an alteration of the logo. So it's kind of similar, but not exactly the same. So that's gonna be my merch that I'm selling. Um, so I want to talk to you quickly about books and things that I've already bought. So uh, if you if you know me already, I took this with me traveling when we went to Peru for seven weeks. We actually went traveling around South America, we went to Peru. We were going to do it for nine months. My dad got ill so I came home and I've been home now for three and a half months. So that's the thing. But this is the book that I took traveling with me and this is The Modern Yoga Bible by Christina Brown and it's got just loads and loads of yoga poses in there which has been brilliant to kind of take with me traveling because if I want to plan a yoga class I can kind of look through here and get some inspiration so that has been wonderful. 
but I do have some other books that I've started to purchase and read and I kind of want to talk you through them. So the three books I have on kind of meditation and breath work are Meditation Made Easy. Now, if you saw my shopping video last week, I think it was on Friday got released or last Wednesday, I can't remember. If you saw that video, you'll see that I bought three books. I'm just gonna talk you through those. So the first one is Meditation Made Easy, Coming to Know Your Mind. So I've already started reading this one. I've read 17 pages and I just, this is just gonna teach me about meditation and how to get started with it and start my own self-practice. Um, so that's the first book that I've bought. The second one is Exhale, How to Use Breathwork to Find Calm, Supercharge Your Health and Perform at Your Best. So this one I'm hoping to learn about breathing techniques, um, breath of fire, about focus, foam rolling, different yoga poses. So this one's going to be a lot about breathwork and different things you can do to kind of help your have your breath help you I guess in a way and then the third one I got to do with this kind of area of things is real happiness a 28 day program to connect with the power of meditation so this one again I think I don't know if I'm actually going to do it as a 28 day practice but it talks about loving sorry it talks about loving kindness meditation for times of emotional or physical pain meditation of emotions reflections on week two practice review so it's got kind of lots of interesting points in there so that's going to be another one to learn about meditation and then in terms of yoga I recently bought three books which are for my birthday which if you're watching this today is my birthday today so go ahead and say hi on Instagram you can follow me on my new channel and my new Instagram as like a birthday gift for me um, but one of the books is restorative yoga by Karen Baginski so this is a woman who I found on YouTube literally last week and bought her book already because I love her teachings her classes she, she does why am I talking with today she does restorative yoga so it says relax restore and re-energize so it talks all about um restorative yoga how to get into a pose um you know different ways to do it and it says you know inhales and exhales and how to move and how to set things up so it's all about restorative yoga which is going to be beautiful because this is the kind of thing I like to teach so I think I've got to mention during my yoga teacher training I loved the kind of yin yoga, restorative yoga, the meditation side of things, anything kind of zen and calming is my kind of yoga. I'm not super into like power yoga, like press ups and sit ups and that kind of thing. It's, it's not really my cup of tea, honestly. I might teach a couple of those classes maybe, we'll see. Um, but something I enjoyed the most that I realized was the yin, the zen, the calming, all that kind of chair yoga I loved. So the other book I bought is The Complete Guide to Yin Yoga by Bernie Clark and this is the revised edition with updated and expanded practices, postures, props and photos. So this one's all about yin yoga. I asked my yoga teacher actually for a book recommendation about yin yoga and he recommended this one. Apparently this guy is the, Bernie Clark is the person who kind of invented yin yoga if that's a thing, if he invented it. So it's got um, black and white photographs talking about yin. I've not looked at this book yet much, but I'm looking forward to diving into this and kind of learning more. And then the third book, which I wanted to buy since I did my yoga teacher training last year, didn't get around to buying it. And then it was like, oh, we're leaving Miami and then we're going traveling and I'm not gonna have space for all these books, which is exactly, it's, it's true now. I'm not gonna have space for all these books. So I need to either read fast or... <clears throat> I don't know, wait until I get a house in a year or two. But the last book is Science of Yoga, Understand the Anatomy and Physiology to Perfect, to perfect Your Practice by Anne Swanson. So this book looks incredible. Like she's got a few books. Um, I don't know if it's her who's the same author, but there's the kind of the science of physical something. There's the science of running as well. So it kind of tells you about the muscles and breathing and all that kind of thing. So it talks about kind of the brain, it talks about, oh, that was the respiratory system, how we breathe, pranayama, which is breath work, um, digestive system. And then she talks about different poses. So it'll have a pose and it'll talk about which muscles are being stretched, which muscles are being built. It talks about the bones and blood vessels and things. That are, it's just a really great in-depth look into what's happening during yoga poses. So triangle pose, so what's happening there? So like, how's the body moving? How's the, the perfect alignment, I guess, which, you know, I shouldn't, shouldn't really say because I wouldn't really be teaching the perfect alignment. It is whatever your body does, honestly. 
So yeah, I have a stack of books that I want to read. I've got six here that I'm gonna get started with. So like I said, I've already started this meditation made easy, but that's a lot of books for somebody who's dyslexic and doesn't like reading and struggles to learn. Um, so I think that's everything. I know this is quite a long video of me just sat here talking, but yeah, I hope you kind of got an idea of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what I plan to do. So as a quick roundup, it's called Zenden, the zenden.studio on Instagram, Zenden on YouTube. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below. I've got merch, so you can buy t-shirts and jumpers with my logos on there. I don't get a lot of money from it, but it's just a nice little kind of, if you want to support me, I would really, really appreciate it. That would be so lovely. Um, so I'm gonna be learning all about these things on my main channel, implementing the information on my Zenden channel to have a safe space to calm your mind and body. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you sign up and not even sign up. I really hope you subscribe. It's free. It's free to subscribe. Please go and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I cannot wait to get started with this. It's my birthday today as you're watching this. So it's a perfect day to kind of share this news and to get going with it. And yeah, I can't wait to just learn more and share what I'm learning because I'm not going to be that teacher that's like, oh, I know everything you're gonna learn from me. No, not at all, like I don't know anything, like I know I don't know anything. So I'm looking forward to learning more and then sharing what I do know as and when. So you'll see my channel progress from maybe, <clears throat> it's not even about being good, uh, it's not even about sorry being bad and then getting better, it's just gonna evolve as I learn more and more. So I'm gonna post my very first video on Sunday, so in two days time, and I'm gonna release videos every single Sunday, so once a week, it might be a five minute meditation, it might be a 40 minute yoga class, anywhere in between, it's gonna be kind of just different forms of self-care. So I'm not talking face masks, I'm not talking beauty regimes or anything to do with that, it's gonna be zen, zen den. Think of it as a den that is zen, a safe space to calm your mind and body. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to start this journey. I've kind of been itching to get there with it and to kind of, get going, but I think releasing this on my birthday is the perfect time to do it. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you over on my Zenden channel on Sunday for my very first class. Thank you so much and I'll see you there. Bye.